Okay, so in this video, we're gonna try to get to the roots of the Halic tree and be Moog, the Lord of Blood. But first, we're gonna get a talisman. Basically an upgraded one of the one we already have. Um, it is quite a ways out, but the little boost helps. I'm also trying out a new microphone. Uh, any feedback would be appreciated. Thank you. Um, so here, you want to have talisman that boost your defense, or you could just run there, um, quit out, and just get the talisman and teleport away. Which is basically what I'm gonna have to end up doing because I just kept getting attacked. There's three of those guys here, so you gotta be careful with that. I've died a few times there in previous playthroughs, so quitting out is the best strategy. So once you get it, you can equip it. And I just teleported out so I didn't have to like quit out again. So before we came to this area, but we left. So now we're gonna finish exploring this area a little bit. Um, there is some um, ancient somber stones that we wanna get. Uh, there's also a number 9 somber stone. That way it saves you some runes. You don't have to farm. But if you do want to farm, this is a good place to farm. Since we're strong enough to beat these guys pretty quickly. And they drop about 2,000, 2,500 runes per enemy. More if you put the uh, golden scarab. And here, this guy usually comes over and we can just beat him from here long distance but since he was over there I had to go down there and basically like lure him out and if you go back to the doorway you can't go past it and if you hide behind the second pillar like this one and better yet the one that follows it uh, those holy projectiles won't hit you but the easiest way to beat him um, is here just wait him out he leaves and then just get him the spells you can always use the golden scarab I wouldn't beat him to get the extra runes. Then we're gonna get the ancient somber stone. Then we're gonna go back into that room. I guess we could have done that first. Just beat this guy. Or you can just run past him and get that number nine somber stone. This guy is pretty tough and he does take quite a while to beat. But uh, I found that the Ashen War from the Moon Bell is probably the best. This guy also has a chance to draw that staff. And it causes a uh, Scarlet Rot. You actually have to physically go with it though. But yeah, hiding out here and you can just go in right after he does an attack until he's pretty much done. Then we're gonna go back to the side of Grace and then go a different way so we can get the other uh, the somber stone, ancient somber stone. But yeah, if you want to farm here, this is probably what you want to do. If you these guys, then you go up here. This guy, those two up there. 
Or you could always just stay and beat the first four every time. If you want to level up more. But at the pace we're going, we should be good. Especially if you've been using the gold pickle foot. And the golden scarab. Should be good in terms of levels. But it never hurts to have a little bit more health or more endurance. You can bet wear better armor. Or if you just like to carry all the staves with you. Like having more endurance will allow you to do that. That way you don't have to like keep going to the menu to switching it. You can just switch your hand. And here um, you can just kill these guys. Sometimes they'll follow you. And when there's like three or more, it gets pretty challenging to get through here. But the R1 as a war is more efficient here. Don't kill this guy or you'll bogger on that one, I found out. Uh, just run here, just run through here. You don't want to fight those guys because, yeah, you'll probably die. And here we could just make a jump to the right. This helmet boosts your faith by two for faith build. And then we'll want to kill the tree avatar right here for some extra runes. Uh, it's probably best to use uh, Comet Azur. I just wanted to see how much the, the moon did. How much damage the moon did. And same with the other ones. You bring them back to this doorway. You can't get through. Um, sometimes you just keep spamming that attack forever. <laughs> but usually with this chest piece, you just stay quiet. Like we don't move. You'll throw it back to the way. And now we're going to go get a defense talisman. But we'll have to go through um, this like small lake of rot. So it's good to have the cloth equipped. And as you'll see, equipping the extra weapon made me heavy roll the equipment I have. So we could probably take one of the armor pieces and put one with less weight because this means the mimic will probably be heavy rolling but yeah we'll just keep going um, we'll get the talisman and then we'll get to the halic tree um, roots side of grace and then we'll come back um, to be an enemy that was over here by the small lake of rot. In here, there's a lot of those annoying enemies who just keep shooting this like spider web thing. But if you have the physical uh, defense talisman. Uh, shouldn't do too much damage and then we can just upgrade it here just switch it over to the other one and over here uh, it's right in front of uh, probably the last boss we'll do Elenia uh, I'm guessing a lot of people already know that one is so we'll probably be doing that one last so yeah we'll come back over here then we'll beat this mini boss which opens up uh, Millicent's quest after defeating it and we will come back to that because 
We have to keep her alive against three enemies. And it's kind of challenging to do. So once we have more levels, should be a little bit easier. But yeah, here you will want to stay around this area. Except when he starts glowing red, you'll want to back up. That way you don't get dropped off. And as I was thinking that when I was playing, it happened. I did change uh, the leg armor, something lighter, that way I can medium roll. And then I'll just go back there, um, pop an arc rune, that way we have our extra levels, pick up a things, and then we'll start again, uh, do the same thing we did earlier, come back here, this time we're a little further back. And then every time we see a glow, we'll step back a little bit just to make sure we're okay. I did speed it up, um, sped up most of this video. It's a lot of boring stuff, and this is quite repetitive as well. But yeah, you just basically hit it with swords. We get a golden seed. And then we'll head um, to Moen's palace, and so we can defeat him. And we'll do basically the same thing we did when we beat the weaker version of him. We'll use Comet Azur, but this time instead of using Golden Bow, we will use the Commander Standard Ash of War, and I'll equip it right now. Um, that way we have it ready. And before we go into the boss arena, uh, we want to two-handed, that way we can use it. Use the Ash of War um, right before we go in. Um, for this one, I put the Ritual Sword Talisman, but you can put the other, uh, the Spell Mass. It just boosts by 4%. But it's better since I got hit. And in case you get hit, you at least do the 4% damage rather than no extra damage with that talisman. So yeah, we want to use the Moog Shackle. So make sure you have that equipped. Kind of go through the plan. I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh, I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, just use the Ash of War. Take the weapon off. Just in case you don't kill him, you're not heavy rolling. And here, just place Terra Magica. And then as soon as he makes it about right here, just um, use the buff. Then use the shackle. That way you don't get hit like I did. And then the first part does more damage because it hits the head. Just keep holding it, and you should beat him. And as soon as he dies, we'll use the Golden Scarab, and we'll eat the Gold Pickle Foot. We should have enough time, and we'll get about 700 or 600 something. And then we could just level up, and we want to put most of the points towards our mind. That way we can have more FP, we can use multiple spells at one time and not have to refill. And that will be it for this video, I'll see you on the next one.